cooperate and I won't have to break your bones. Hand over your bandages. Give me...
If you want to dodge death, I suggest you hand over every drop of medicine you got. Hey, you there? Hello? It's Casey. If you're there, please answer. I've got a situation. Please. I can hear you. What is it? Yeah, I, I got spooked the other day. The crash rattled me. I'm sorry. It's just... I don't know who to trust. There's not many decent options out there, but I'm getting desperate, so um, I... I need to take a chance uh, on you. What, what do you think? Can, uh, can you help me out? Please? You've got my attention. I've been hearing things from the tower radio chatter. They found something, and I need it. Bad. Problem is, I have no way to get my hands on it without help, w without you. Now, I'm willing to give up what I know about the reserve in exchange. Does that sound fair? You don't have to lay it on so thick, Casey. Tell me what you need, then I'll tell you if I'm willing to help. A pump flow regulator. A tower patrol founded by Memorial Lane in the Garden District. Uh, it's just another useless piece of junk to them. The problem is there's a potential showdown brewing over there between the patrol and a reclaimed camp. It could get bloody, quickly. What else? I like to be fully informed before putting my ass on the line. 
Fair enough. What do you want to know? What's the area like? The Garden District was one of the wealthiest areas of the city, so, you know, no surprise, it avoided most of the flood damage. The folks hit hardest by the flood picked it as a spot for a memorial to victims. And two weeks later, when the dead started walking, the whole city was a damn memorial. Why are they fighting? Uh, you know, resources, territory, two opposed ways of thinking, butting heads. I mean, from everything I've been hearing on the radio the last couple of months, the bad blood just keeps getting worse. Look, I'm staying out of it, but I, I can feed you more details if you want. Who's running the show for each faction? Mama leads the tower. She founded the community. I don't know much else about her. She stays out of sight. Her right hand, her enforcer, is Georgia. Now, she's out there on the front lines daily. And from what I hear, she's a hard ass. Not afraid to mix it up. Get her hands dirty, you know? The reclaimed rally around this guy named JB. And no clue what it stands for. He's always proselytizing over the airwaves. Uh, frequency 54. Denouncing the tower. Saying they're already dead. It freaks me out a bit, but there's no denying he has charisma. How do they operate? What do they believe in? The tower is disciplined and committed to community. And everyone has to contribute to the cause. They must be doing something right. I've heard they have close to a thousand people inside their walls. The tower folks are fiercely loyal to their way of life. Maybe even to a fault. And a bunch of loose cannons in the reclaimed. It's hard to know what they're up to most of the time. Their tactics are all about surprise and intimidation. Guerrilla warfare mentality. And they love creeping the tower people out. Weird rituals and stuff. They seem less interested in control and more into sending a message. What's your take on all this? If the fighting keeps up, this city's gonna explode into an all-out war. The tower maintains some sort of order, right? I mean, they, they offer some sort of semblance of safety, sure, but... They don't hesitate to toss people out if they question authority. Once the tower kicks your ass out, there's no return. It seems cruel, but I don't know. Maybe that's the way it has to be. The reclaimed are eccentric. Well, let's put it that way. But JB really knows how to motivate, uh, get, get people to buy into his vision. Maybe they're crazy, maybe they're onto something. I, I don't know, who knows? They are inspired, though. Always going on about their liberation to live, not just blindly following orders to barely survive. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe they're both a bit fucked in the head. I've heard enough info on the conflict. Okay. Uh, sorry. I, I know I can ramble sometimes. I'm ready to do this. The pump regulator is a piece of industrial equipment about the size of a coffee maker. Uh, pipes which is knobs, you'll know it when you see it. Now, the Tower Patrol has it at their camp, Red House on Memorial Lane. And remember, Reclaimed are nearby, so you might get caught in the middle of a scrap between them. Now, once you have it in hand, hustle back to the radio and contact me. Time is not on my side. If you pull this off, I'll spill everything I know about the reserve. You have my word.
he thinking? These are people who have chosen to... You got nerve rolling in here uninvited. Don't mean to intrude. We don't need strays poking around right now. We have enough problems to deal with. I prefer to think of myself as a free agent. Open to all opportunities. You know what? Yeah, you might prove useful. My brother is in some deep shit. Pack of reclaimed scum snatched him. Anthony's a good kid. Bit dim. But he doesn't deserve whatever those freaks have in store. We can't get anywhere near where they're holed up. Light blue house across the way. They'll gut him immediately if they see us coming. But you? They don't know you. You'll be able to stroll right in. After that, whatever you need to do, that's your business. Personally, I'd put a few bullets through their skulls. Let the dirt reclaim them. What's in it for me? If he comes back alive, I'll let you snag a few things from our supplies. We've got some meds, decent grub, ammo too. Just don't get greedy. Sounds like I can be of service. Get to it then. Knowing how those savages operate, he might not have much time before they execute him. Anthony, how could he be so dense? He should have known better. What was he thinking? These are people who have chosen to be savages, not rational people. Who the hell are you? The negotiator? A big tough Jeff, too chicken shit to show his face and beg for his little brother's life? Not sure I really see the point. I guess I'm here to negotiate a deal for Anthony's release. Release? That's some kind of joke? That motherfucker isn't going anywhere but in the dirt, where maggots belong. What did he do? This subhuman shit is a murderer. My daughter is dead. The tower is at fault, and he is at fault. The tower preaches community, and yet they toss out those most in need because they are no longer useful, because they are a burden. Violet was not a burden. She was a human being, but this fucker treated her like trash. He could have disobeyed orders, but he did not. He forced her out left her to die. She was 11 years old. Where is your head at, stranger? Exterminate this tower fuck right now, and we won't have a problem. Then we can pay the rest of the vermin a visit. And once they are a pile of corpses, whatever is in their camp, it's yours. Consider it a gift from the reclaimed. It's difficult, but sometimes we have to choose justice. I'll take care of him. I followed orders. That's all I'm guilty of, please. It wasn't my decision. If I didn't do it, someone else would have. There was no preventing her exile. Do it already! Finish! 
Dennis, the fucker. I am sorry. Please. What I did was horrible. I admit it, but please, you don't have to do this. Put a bullet through that murderous skull. I tried to make things right. I tried. I followed orders. So I hope we did what we had to do, right? One less brain dead tower slug plaguing the world. Fuck it. I think it's time to put some pressure on these fuckers. We're outnumbered, but we have momentum, right? Yeah. The time is right fucking now. You with us? No time like the present. That's the attitude. We've got this. Let's send the message that the future belongs to the Reclaim. Scanning the area. Heard something.
Hey, big brother. There's not much to say beyond I'm sorry, but I have to do this. I can't sleep. I can't eat. I'm a wreck. Jeff, I keep seeing that little girl's face. These visions of her turning. This whole mess is fucking with my head. What did the Martins do to deserve being exiled? It makes no sense. They are good people. Now, I know this might put you in a tough spot. Please forgive me, but I need to make things right. At least give them a slim chance to survive out there. I swiped some supplies from our camp, so you know who to blame. Don't want any other innocent people taking heat. I'm going out to find the Martins and deliver the stuff. Least I can do. I pray it'll help me get my head straight. If I'm not back before the bells, wish me luck. Your little bro, Anthony. Scanning the area. You got a problem? Shit, someone's close. You there, Casey? Come in. Yeah, yeah, I I'm here. Wow, <laughs> you're back. Did you get it? Had to deal with some shit. But I got what you needed. I delivered. Now it's... This is great! Finally, some progress. It's a relief. Okay, uh, let me find the manual for that thing, and we can get it calibrated. You're stalling, Casey. I want to hear what you got on the reserve. Not doing anything until you hold up your end. We clear? Yeah, yes. All clear. Okay. 
The reserve is real, but you already knew that, right? What you don't know is that I am in it. It's an old military bunker built in the 50s or 60s. Right after the flood, the National Guard used it as a staging area to distribute disaster relief supplies. But once the dead started walking and things really went to shit, I had no choice but to get inside and hunker down. I thought I was safe for a little while, but now I'm fucked. The flood water up top was too much for the reserve's pump system. It, it malfunctioned, and now the whole place is on lockdown. I'm stuck in the comm room. I I'm running out of time. I need to get out of here, soon. God, I can't wait to see the sky again. I've been working with someone named May. She claims to have a key to the reserve. You know anything about this? If your May is May Benoit, then yeah, yeah, I've heard of her. Tower is always tossing her name around on the airwaves. They're really after her ass. Consider her a major threat. I don't know anything about a key to the reserve, though. I'll do some research. If I discover anything, I I'll let you know. You were the only one to make it inside? Well, no. There were others, but they didn't stay. Um, they had to leave. If the bunker was safe, why did they leave? Like I said, they left. They had to take care of something, okay? Nothing else to say about it. Rumors are all over the place. What exactly is inside the reserve? Most of the rumors are true. Food, meds, tons of it. I mean, the entire hall was meant to help tens of thousands of people in the area after the flood. And there's a bunch of guns, ammo, and gear for the troops that were meant to distribute it. All military-grade, perfect condition. Problem is, I can't get to any of it. The whole bunker is locked out because of the floodwaters. What's the rush to get out of there? Starvation, for one. I might have a couple weeks left of scraps down here. But none of that is gonna matter if the floodwater sitting on top of this place breaks through. The comm room is filling up slowly right now, but it's only a matter of time before the ceiling collapses. Starvation, crushed, or drowned. Pick your poison, right? If you get crushed, at least it would be quick, right? Yeah, well, well, with your help, I'm hoping to avoid all of it. Fuck, I'd rather take my chances on the surface with a hundred walkers coming at me. At least I'd have a fighting chance. Look, tourist, I'm not asking you to do this out of the kindness of your heart. I mean, there's clearly something in it for you, big time. If the pumps get repaired, not only will I get out, but the supply rooms will all open up. All those disaster relief supplies, untouched. Not to mention enough weaponry and gear to arm multiple platoons. All for you to do with as you please. And for me, a fresh start and some fresh fucking air. Why do you need me to get you out? Plenty of people are looking for the reserve. Why not get one of these groups to help you? Well, my gut tells me that you're my best bet. The Tower and the Reclaimed are both after the reserve, sure. Obsessed with it, you might say. They believe it will shift all the power in Nola. But I don't trust them. They're too absorbed by their agendas. You're unaligned. On your own. Like me. But hey, we may as well help each other. Right? I'm willing to take the risk. Oh, fantastic. You won't regret it. But well, it, it's been a long night, but I'm too wired to sleep. I'm gonna turn this place upside down until I find the manual. You should get some rest, though. I'll contact you in the morning. Good night, tourist. Are you there? Yeah. Glad to hear your voice. Ready to get started? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay, good. So, I found the manual for the pump flow regulator. It looks like we need to calibrate it before it can be installed. Each of the pumps has different flow requirements. 
and that component tells the rest of the system where to route the water. We should be able to figure this out. I like that attitude. Okay, on the device, you should see a serial number. Read it to me. 473-0589-01. Okay, uh, now turn the dial until you get some feedback on valve A. Uh, then tell me the number you see. Feedback triggered on 55. The numbers turn green. Okay, good. 55. Uh, according to the manual, valve B should be tuned to 28 degrees. Valve B to 28. Got it. All numbers are green. Perfect. Okay, uh, last valve. One second, one second. There we go. Valve C should be set to 67. Valve C set. All numbers green. Awesome. Okay, uh, almost there. Now it says, depress the automatic confirmation mechanism. Uh, looking at the diagram here, it's a big round button. Should be obvious. All right. Big round button pressed. Yes! Okay, we're calibrated. Now you need to install this sucker into the pump. Uh, the pump, it's, uh, it's located outside of St. Vincent's Church. The beacon lights will be on to help find it, so that's good. Of course, uh, it'll probably attract walkers, so that sucks. Just be ready. The systems down here will let me know when you've installed the regulator. Oh, and uh, one more thing. A little tip that should make life a bit easier and scavenging more fruitful since, you know, we're colleagues now, <laughs> right? The tower has a radio station, number 47, that broadcasts any significant discoveries in the city and the current schedule for stirring the herd. Might be wise to tune in before heading out for the day. Privileged intel, so, you know, let's, uh, let's keep it between us. All right, gonna take a few moments to clear my head. I'll contact you when it's time for the next step. Good luck and thanks. Sighted by water. Northern funnel. One one three. Eradicate the shallows.
Hey, Casey. You there? Yeah. Always here. Always thinking. My mind is always swirling with something. Hey, Casey. You there? Yeah. Always here. Always thinking. My mind is always swirling with something these days. It's impossible to shut it down. It doesn't make sense to get all worked up. If you want to survive, you need to focus. Steady your mind. Yeah, well, I guess. But, you know, hey, this morning I realized something. I can't even remember the last time I saw the sky. It's been a while, at least that much I know. Months. Wish I would have paid more attention. You ever been to the Badlands up in South Dakota? Never been. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Like another planet. My mom used to drive me through there every summer on the way to see my uncle. The night sky was so bright. So many stars, like a dome overhead. Crystal clear view of the cosmos. That put a lot of things in perspective for me back when I really needed it. How insignificant we really are in the grand scheme of things. Now, my troubles, no matter how big they may seem, really don't mean squat. I mean, well, what are troubles anyway, huh? The universe doesn't know the meaning of the word. <sighs> I wish I had that badland sky overhead right about now. You know, the first thing I'm going to do when free is head back north. I think I've had enough of swamp life. Heading up north might not be in the cards. Safe routes don't exist. The dead are everywhere. Well, I gotta try. I don't belong here. I knew it shortly after I arrived, too. Biggest mistake I ever made, that's for sure. But hell, you make stupid calls when you're young and desperate to get out of a bad situation. Right? Anyways, thanks for listening, tourist. I feel better. I think I'm gonna lie down. See if I can picture that badland sky up in this rusty, dripping ceiling. Steady the mind, as you say. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon.